Greetings and welcome back everyone to From the Depths, Allies Adrift with myself and of course Enter Elysium. Hello! And the Nautil I and Nautil U, or rather Nautilus and Nautil U. The Nautilus is about to engage a Kalmar, a River Home, a, another River Home, and an Urchin which is slightly damaged. Now from what I remember, the Deepwater Guard main base is just a little bit over there ish so we should actually be about to engage and finish off the deep water guard pretty close or maybe we should start thinking about the future who are we going to attack off the deep water guard i mean this, the north is so overpowered is we can start talking politics in the middle of a battle uh, that's actually a very good point in my current campaign i have engaged the onyx watch so i it would be nice for me to engage someone else. Are I've you engaged engaging someone? the white flayers. Okay. Well, we could just go for one of the more powerful ones. Lightning um, hoods? Uh, no, I think that's, that's pushing us a little bit too far. I mean, they're, they're the ones of the third board, well, I think, the third biggest. The they're also the ones that pretty much entirely use lasers, which yeah. the Nautilus is powerful, but it isn't designed to play with lasers. Especially because lasers go really easily through water. Yes. Right, well... The Nautilus is actually struggling from how close it was placed. And that we can't It's die. about to mine itself. Oh no! Have they got safety zone? We did put safety zone, right? Yes. We are being hit by something, so... Oh, Our no. mines. They don't have safeties. They, they don't have safeties. You gads. Oh god. You gads, what have you done? Oh god. What have you done? Can we turn it off? Turn all the air off. Don't fire until we're out of here. No. No, you've done this. We must live with the consequences. You were meant to vet the mines of safeties. You were meant to not tell us to start right on a beach. But I didn't the Nautilus the is a sub. It's not anymore. No, it's, it's not. It's about got to lose a fleet its tail. Of mines flying behind it. Oh, that's gonna hurt so much when it hits. Like almost, pretty much none of its weapons can hit this close, except for the torpedo launcher. Is that even working right now? I don't know. Yes, it's launching torpedoes. The okay, only thing that's able to take them on right now. It is literally the only thing that's going to win this for us. Yay, torpedo launcher. Also, I'm going to jump outside and start boarding. We're sinking, we're filling up with the water. Yeah, I'll uh, join you. I no! can't, can't move down. I can't move down either. I, I can now. Ah, it's kind of... Donk. Help. There's the nearest you know enemy. What? what? Nautilus, I'm sorry. What are you doing? No! Don't call me, stupid ad companies. Go away. That never happens. Nice! It's happened at least once before. It's happened like three times when I've been recording with you. Therefore, you can't say it never happens anymore. This is not the way it works. It's natural, man. It's figurative. Hyperbole. Oh, okay. Crazy English with your weird use of language. Ah! I'm yo-yoing with the server a little bit. I just flew back. There we go. I'm grenading this up close and personal. Or trying to, sometimes missing. We're about to add another vehicle to our fleet. Go, back again. No floor. If I get killed by the Nautilus here, I'm going to be most vexed. Oh, I've captured something. Oh, there we are. Still in this. Oh dear, I can hear torpedoes. Ah, no! Nautilus! I am friendly! I think, mostly. Friendly! Let me get up here. Don't kill me, Nautilus! Oh, I think it's mine. Ouch, ouch, that, that, that hurt. That hurt, Nautilus. Why did you do that to me? Are you on the Kalmar or the River Hall? I believe I'm on the Kalmar. Okay, uh, I'll... I'm on the river home. Okay, I've just lost the floor. I'm just trying not to die that. at this point. I'm genuinely just trying no. not to be killed. It's an unnecessary feature, really. The floor? Yeah. I agree. I mean, you should oh, go yeah. back to a more simple way of life. 
without floors. Hmm. Oh, I've captured the river hole. Well done. I'm trying not to die. Oh, I think my time is up. No, Steve's spawning. Don't. I captured you for a reason. Oh, oh, I'm so alive. Take my... No! Please don't kill me. Aha! I may just survive this. Possibly, maybe. Try and blow up your engine. I'm not even trying to capture you at this point. I'm just trying to destroy you. So many loud torpedo sounds. No idea where the AI is, but I think we just won. Yeah. Is it ours? No. Well, it might be actually. I'm not sure. It is. Did you? Oh, that's brilliant. We've got yeah, we've died. got two ships. Did you just die? No, the Kalmar was ours and then died. I tried to put it a play, but All right, it, yeah. it full on died. That's fine. Click the button in time. The Riverholm and the Kalmar. Oh no, actually the Riverholm and the Urchin. So we've only got two. Yeah, we nearly had the Kalmar. That's fine. They can go back, they can join the main fleet there. Yeah. That was actually closest that the uh, Nautilus has come to dying in a fight, I think. And it would have been an own goal. 100% own goal. But it would have scored it, which means that it would have a 100% conversion rate. <laughs> I suppose so. That's an odd way of thinking about it, but okay. I'll, I'll just, roll with just that. Just got to manipulate the stats. you just got to say, you know, I've got 100% conversion. It's hmm. fine. I'm not sure I approve of, of such wanton manipulation of stats. Are we going to let them chase us and then have a massive battle? Um, oh, yeah, get yes. all of them. Get all of them. Back, back, oh. back. Oh, damn it. I was oh. going to try and get the one below us as well. Damn, sorry. We're moving Bye. a little bit too fast for that one. Okay, well, let's have a look. Water wise, we're good. I can increase the slider, yep. Yeah. We'll have everything in at the same time. There we are. Right, let's see how the Nautil U does. I imagine it's going to do better. Can't do worse. It looks like deeper. Well, actually, it could do worse. But I take that back. It's deeper. It looks like deeper. Yeah, we're so good. loud. Nautilus, why are your missiles so loud? Because we gave it like a billion of them. Uh, I suppose so. I love the way it splits its missiles. Yep, I really do as well. I was about to say, like, the tentacles of missile coming out. Tentacle missiles? What game are you playing? Oh, it's decided that... Oh, no, it, it's still going for the same ones. Oh, this is gorgeous. This is really, really gorgeous. I'm tr gonna try and get in close to this group and actually watch the devastation close up. The one with the most missiles, that is. I just realized this group is about as useful to you as a chocolate teapot. Oh, yeah. Take that. Right, Doc Grombleton going down. We've got... It looks like a Kalmar going down. Some serious hits. Um, There's a lot of destruction here. So many things are damaged. Yeah. But there's actually quite a few of them deploying cannon shells at us, so depending on our depth, we may take a few hits. We have taken a hit. Well I done, confirm. enemies. You have at least achieved something. Oop, that's a Marauder. Siri still has not gotten out oh. of her t-shirt hammock. There's a little escort ship that just got in front of the Marauder and took the entire salvo. Oh, good guy, escort ship. It's completely obliterated. Took the bu bullet for you. Ooh, there's a flyer deploying missiles. Yeah, yeah, directly over the top of us. And it's been it's, lasered. Yeah, it's been lasered. I mean, at the end of the day, the Nautilus were like, well, if my missiles don't take it out, my laser is going to take it out. There's not a universe in which my laser will not finish off a flyer. It, it has personal space issues. If you get too <laughs> close. No d dirty dancing with the Nautilus, I'm afraid. Ooh, 
And Atlas Impact. There we go. And it went right down for the bridge as well. Managed to avoid hitting all of the balloons on the way there. Nice. This is one of my personal bugbears. Balloons take a shot to kill, no matter what the strength of the shot is. Yeah, but then they redeploy super fast as well. Yeah, like I was fly fighting this giant flyer and it went down. I was like, excellent, we can kill it now. And it just started d dropping balloons. I was like, how are we ever going to get through this? You know what? You can easily use balloons like some sort of... Yeah, deployable shield. I like that idea. We're going to have to explore that at some point. All you got to do is like drop a mine or something at the bottom, like oh, a torpedo, mm -hmm. and because it's like won't detonate for like 10 seconds, whatever you said. It'll just push its it way through the balloons, through. yeah. Yeah. This is something we must investigate. Oh, that little flyer. Just spinning. Oh, oh, all the missiles decided to retarget and they targeted the Atlas. Oh, they? And it ripped the back off. Ah yes, I was I was watching the fly just above the Nautilus at the time. The laser's doing a chunk of damage to the Atlas as well at this point. It's kind of overkill, really. Oh good, yeah, I see it. Oh, that shrapnel is so gorgeous from the cruise missiles. Like every now and then it'll hit a block, and it, the first load of shrapnel will utterly destroy the block, and there'll yep. be nothing behind it. So you just see this fan of shrapnel explode out. I mean, you know, having fun with lure missiles, if you can tell all the lure missiles to, like, hit the same point. Yeah. Just seeing these kinetic kill vehicles just drill a hole straight through a ship and just look at the hole and you can see at the other side. Whatever was above the Nautilus just got utterly annihilated by missiles. Oh, that. The, is it a Wanda or a Pendragon? That's a Wanda, I think. I think that's a Wanda. The Wanda is yeah. actually a really nice vehicle. I've captured one in my single player campaign. In my season three campaign, that is. And ooh, it's really, ooh. really quite nice. Turn, turn the eye off. We can jump out and get it. Okay. No, it's too late. It's, uh, it's alas, it, 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 it would back. not have survived anyway. It's about to go down near a bed of mines. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there we go. All of the missiles are ah, really Nautilus. That, that's just, that's excessive. Yeah. That's butchery. Look away, kids. There's no elegance in this. That was just, that was, that was truly disgusting. More civilized weapon from more elegant. A more elegant weapon from more civilized age. The Nautilus is not. No, it is not. Nor are you particularly good with your quotes today. This no, is a very unlike you. I'm form. Have you not had your tea? I only had one cup. Ah, that's what it is. And I was up really late working on. Uh, uh, well, I guess I can say Two. the name now. Roll for it. Yes. Ah. Oh, I really, really wish the binoculars would not affect your map. Yep. Easily one of the more annoying features. Uh, affecting everything is. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, the Nautilus is still damaged. We didn't tell it to repair. Ooh. Handicap. Okay. That's going to be an interesting one. I mean, it's come to the point now where we have to look for these opportunities to see the Nautilus actually possibly not destroy everything, I believe, in one go. Torpedoes are away. Lasers already taken out, Doc Grumbletons. Oh, and there's a hole in the view screen, which I may have taken out to get out of the ship, and it hasn't repaired. It's still there. I feel bad. I don't. I can see that hole. You did this to the beautiful Nautilus. You ruined her face. You're a monster. Worth it. <laughs> Worth it. Okay, fair enough. Doesn't matter how it sex? I. Question would be with with what or whom? I think I'm the only other whom, so this is rather awkward. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Let's. Oh no! Now the comment section have got ideas. <laughs> Hello, Doc Grumbletons. I really actually like the Doc Grumbleton because the little uh, like whirly gig spiral design of its rotor blades. It really is quite quite a lovely design. I also like the word whirly gig. Uh, actually, these aren't Doc Robinsons. These are monkey barrels, I think. I mean, you look on the map. Monkey barrels are the ones with like, the side things and the little thing on yeah, top. Yeah, monkey barrels. I, I yeah. just really, really like their design. I, they, they are stupidly easy to break. I've never seen them actually do anything. But they just look fun. I want to find out what that armor is. Do they have an up? They, no, they've got cannons. Must like, have something, basic yeah. Cannons, I think. Oh, they've got mines. Oh, they've got mines on the bottom. Ah. Yeah. 
those uh oh oh that was yeah they rotate out. Yeah. and deploy by the looks of it mine so literally only useful if you can get over the top which is the worst place you want to be when it comes to the nautilus oh there we are it's dropping his mines oh well done you, do you see if they proud? can actually do anything I do feel proud about the enemy. I, I hate the idea of them dying without, you know, feeling they'd accomplished anything. Oh, they're getting attracted to the Nautilus. Yeah, they, they're doing a little damage. Well done. Bigger the ships. Only enemy. To I know. Down. Much bigger ships have failed to do anything to the Nautilus. You guys, this, this is something to be proud of. This right here. Be proud. Oh, the torpedoes. And they're now in range of my torpedo swarm. Oh, nice. Ah, uh, laser isn't working. Uh, it is. It's just not doing a lot of damage. Really? Because the upper enemies aren't. Oh, yeah. I can't see laser. Maybe. Yeah, it's definitely hitting them. In okay, fact, that one just went too damaged and is getting taken out. There are some odd quirks with multiplayer, unfortunately. There's certain things the that anyone but the host can't do, which is a little bit of shame, such as shift replace. Um, that one. <laughs> a bit of a sore, sore point for Enter Elysium, unfortunately. Ooh. They've got a medic. It's, it's mostly dead, but they've got a medic. It's the Kalmar doing some healing. Not sure, but something was getting. No, no, it's the medic above it that was healing oh. the Kalmar. Oh, yeah. Are we it's deploying just... mines. We aren't deploying mines because the mine system's gone. Really? Yeah. Oh, my lord, yeah, it is. Only on one side, mind you. The Union Jack's gone. <gasps> yes, it is. <gasps> we need to check. It's the Queen here. Ah, uh, binoculars wipe. Every single Queen is fine. Every single one of them. I'm gonna check the queen room back. Okay. Oh, every single queen survived. The queen is resilient. Indeed. She survived what a death sub made of metal and pain. Menacing with spikes of ambivalence. She's covered in the entire of the deep water guard. There we go. Yeah, the swarm torpedo system is now ruining the Kalmar. Good. I'm just going to jump out and try and help. Okay. For those of you who might wonder what the odd flicker is every now and then, ah. it's when I press N, because if you go into first-person mode and then come out to third-person, your camera's still kind of locked to your character, so it'll waver back and forth as you do. So I press N and then press it again immediately, and it unanchors the camera completely. It's quite yeah. useful to have a, a non-seasick-inducing camera shake. Uh, I do that occasionally, but I think mine's a little bit slower because the server checks with me, so you can actually see that I pop to the map. Ah, uh, right, of course. But yeah, that, that Kalmar, it's not going to survive. There are way too many torpedoes looking for it. Every new wave does incredible amounts of damage. It's being sustained by healing, though, which is interesting. That last little flyer is doing its best to keep its uh, ally in this. Well done, you. I am proud. Tali, why do you look suspicious? Emergency induction. <laughs> You're going to say that every time I say her name, yes. aren't you? Yes, I yeah. <laughs> Tali, he's mocking you. If she could talk, she'd be calling you a Bosch Ted right now. Bosch Ted. But there we are. Kalmar is still sustained by repairs. We need to destroy that. Uh... I'm I'm running and just firing a grenade launcher as I go. Okay. Although I think it may have just flown in front of your torpedoes. Yes, it did. Really? Or oh, is that another ship in the water? No, I think it's a flyer. The flyer is actually despawning because it landed in the water and took your torpedoes. Yeah, and I think definitely... I may have captured. No, it's not. Oh, there it goes. It's gone. And that's it, I think. Did you just capture it? Yeah, uh, you must yes. have. Fantastic work. Pull it out of play. Pull it out of play. Ah, what am I doing? Uh. I'm doing everything but the thing I want to do. There we go. Captured both. Got a Vanguard and a Kalmar. Oh, yeah. That's our role. 
Uh, I need to <laughs> That's how I roll. To, uh, to repair. Let me have a look. Another. I don't roll. I tend to walk. I'm not rotund enough. Can you see my my circumference allows me to get around fairly quickly. Dizzy. <laughs> right. So we want the Nautil us to carry on its way to Janwall. Now, I'm fairly certain that right underneath the, uh, or, or very close to the word Janwall on the map, we will find the Deepwater Guard headquarters. And that is really what we're just trying to make a, sp uh, a spearhead towards. Are we really both Nautil I? Um, Nautil you and Nautil us. Nautilines. Nautilines, Nautil I. Okay. Talia and Midna are having a scrap. Oh, well, they, they're playing, but I'm sure you're going to be able to hear that. Yeah, I could just about hear that, yeah. Must find their HQ. I'm trying to find the HQ, but that guy ended up in a fight, and I don't want to fight. Don't fight, don't fight. Pull away, pull away. We'll hit the okay. HQ at the same time. No! <laughs> Why okay. Hit them all at once. Oh, there's the HQ. <laughs> Hello. We can hit them all at once. I can pull them in. Pull them in. Pull everyone in. Are you sure we want two Nautili? No, because that's going to be one an awful lot. Everyone. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to probably wrap this episode up with the battle to finish off the Deepwater Guard. Girls, I'm recording. She's <sighs> Callywags. Right. Okay. Let's jump over to the Nautilus. Moment of extreme loudness. I love the way that the there's like a little graphical indicator. Destroy this! It's like what well, yeah, we know. We, we know, we got this. Well, it's launching worry. missiles. It's launching its own cruise missiles. I noticed really that some of the cruise missiles are really not doing anything. They're just going straight up. Yeah. I'm not getting missile trails anymore. That's really quite concerning. They, they come back after like a minute or two of fighting. Oh, there we go. The first wave doesn't have missile trails. Uh, really, torpedo system? Are you actually going for the base? Okay. Wow. You know, I'm fine. It is decided. Are you sure you're not controlling missiles? Uh, I'm literally controlling nothing right now. I don't have the option of controlling. It looks like it's the rear cruise missile cluster. There's not it's linked doing that. I'm not sure. We'll have to see. The Nautilus is taking a lot of damage right now because it's not submerging. Ow! Yeah, that hurt. I am moving back. I'm gonna I'm seek. Not staying in the run. I'm gonna seek the protection of the Queen. You you are hiding behind the Queen? No, I'm allowing her to get involved in this battle. Her Majesty is very bored. Oh, do I have my secret room available? I have a panic room. I think your panic room got replaced by missile in it. I thought I, I thought I made it work again. Yeah. Well, you might have actually. Yes. Okay. I'm in. <laughs> you in your panic room? I'm in my panic room. Oh, we're deploying in mines on ourselves. Did, but I'm in my panic room. Oh, really? The mines are being deployed. Oh no. On us. No. All over us. No. No. <sighs> Told you to add safe days. I know you did, but. Honestly, this is pretty much the only real threat the Nautilus has is itself. This is true. At least it's somewhat interesting when the Nautilus is, is trying to commit suicide via mines. Yeah, right. there. It's destroying your anti missile missiles. I noticed. Now you care. No, I still don't really. Okay. I still think it's funny. The, wow, the amount of damage on the wing is absolutely horrific. The mines may be small, but they are powerful. Yeah, and there are lots and lots and lots of them. Also, now because they're all shrapnel instead of explosive, they don't chain react. So you're pretty much going to get hit by all of the mines. Yeah. Bunch of torpedoes. Where are you going? Oh, they may have run out of... Uh, we need, we need to destroy those enemies so badly because they're just causing us to kill ourselves right now. Yeah. 
and the Nautilus seems absolutely ambivalent towards them. We can jump out. Yeah, I think I probably should. God. Brain, brain, lag. I'm going to jump out, probably get killed by mines. Actually, I'm not going to jump out, because that would be dangerous. I'm going to go out the front. the front of the screen, yeah. yeah. Okay, the Nautilus is using its laser on the main base. Okay, if you go out onto the port, you should be able to... Oh, he's okay, gone. Okay, he just down. exploded. Uh, directly ahead. Yeah, working on it. The torpedoes are redirecting. No, they're cruise missiles. We are massively rolled. Well, yeah, we've lost one wing. The other wing now is trying to correct for the fact that we're so close to the ground, effectively. But it's correcting against nothing, so... Uh, yeah, it's able to uh, just basically send one wing straight out of the water. I'm almost at whatever this ship is. On the plus side, our torpedoes and cruise missiles are probably doing some damage to the base. I should probably go and have a look over there, but I'm currently just watching you. I'll go have a look at the base and see. Oh, oh okay. our tail's out of the water. Oh dear. Come on, ammo barrels. Let's try and destroy you, shall we? Okay, the AI has decided it wants to destroy this. Explosions! Two damage, it's being pulled out. And it's ours. Got it. Huzzah! And it's still in the in the fight as well, so I'll just sit here and repair this, shall I? And we've got a lot of torpedoes in the water, though. I mean, they'll make it there. Yeah, but the problem is they won't hit the right parts. Well, if they can do enough damage to the uh, supporting... <laughs> oh, stop being so loud! Ah, oh, scallywag ferrets. How dare they. I know. I, could, I would be surprised if you can't hear that. I, I can hear that. <laughs> I do apologize, five minutes. everyone. I am very sorry. <laughs> if you want to see cute pictures of cute ferrets, then uh, go check out Avax Twitter. Yes, yes. New additions to the family. Three new women in my life. Very yeah. noisy women with claws. To be fair, I'm still not sure that's enough women for you. <laughs> I think it is. Oh my it's Lord. definitely enough, it's enough teeth and claws. But will they get there? Also, the no, Nautilus no, is no. slowly tearing it apart using its laser. Very slowly, though. Yep, cruise yeah, missiles go. good. Cruise missiles are good. There we are. That's what we needed to see. Impact! That's exactly what we wanted to see. More of that, please, Nautilus. Yeah, keep that up. A lot more of that. That actually. said, we are coming from the side with a lot of metal cladding. If we come in from the other side, we'd be a lot better off. Yeah, unfortunately, we really don't have that option, I'm afraid. No. We are not that immovable. I love that little gate that the fortress has. Oh, did you just swing open again? Swing yeah. Open. There we go. Oh, it's so gorgeous. It is really pretty. Okay, yeah, we've just we've we've hollowed out that metal cladding. It is not helping them anymore. We took part of the gate off. Ha <laughs> ha! Take that, beautiful gate. We deny you. Unfortunately, you deny you. My anti-missile missile system not working anymore, probably because it still isn't there. Thanks to those bloody mines. They're more yeah. of a danger to us than they are to anything else, honestly. I think we should probably replace almost all of that with cruise missiles. They are destructive. Yes. Beautiful. Apparently, not so sure. Apparently when I said no, that was high-pitched enough for my kitten to be like, oh, what's wrong? Sorry, what's, what's going on? She's she the enemies. Me. Like, she looked at me and she was Are the enemies at the gate? Well, there's not really uh. a gate. Left. Oh, hello, kitty. Are you coming over here to play? I very much doubt it's going to be able oh, to survive. Go check out its little missile system that's broken. It's just firing diddy sized missiles. Really? The anti-missile like, missile system? No, their, their missile system. Oh, right, yeah. Like, yeah, I'm watching so much, it. They're just firing, like, it's little firing it at it. itself as well, yeah. which is really funny. Oh. Maybe it's just trying to end its suffering. Like, oh. Uh, that was not a despawn. It just... No, no it's despawning. Oh, we've done enough damage. Yeah, yeah, we have. It's, it's starting to count down. Oh, it's actually been counting down for a while. It's at minus nine seconds, ten seconds. Large chunks are disappearing. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, this was a foregone conclusion. Against the Deepwater Guard, this was... We were going to win with one Nautilus. 
Yeah. We only built the others so that we could, would, wouldn't have to keep racing back and forth to try and protect parts. I love watching things despawn. It's really satisfying. And explosions everywhere. Aww. There we go. It was majestic, though. It was a really beautiful base, honestly. I really, really like this base. We should have captured it. We would have had to have spawned so much closer. Oh, yeah. And from That's what I can tell from it, it's actually not a weak base if you're within range. It's just we were outside of the range of most mm. of its weapons. I mean, if we'd started on one side of it, then maybe, because it's got a lot of fixed weapons. There are actually still enemies in this zone. We're just, we started outside of that zone. Oh, yeah. But with that, I'm afraid <laughs> we're going to have to wipe the, uh, wrap this episode up. I'm going to have the Nautilus repair itself, because going into another battle with that Good damage idea. would be bad. But yes, so thank you very much for joining us. We hope you have enjoyed. And that is more or less the end of the Deepwater Guard. We've got a little bit of mopping up to do, but we'll probably do that either off camera or it'll be one more episode before we've finished with that. Mm -hmm. And instead, we're going to have to pick the next target. And I'm thinking, if we have a look at our diplomacy, um, I think either the Great Talons... Yeah, I think the Great Talons or the Steel Striders would be the ones to go for next. Great Talons or Steel Striders. So yeah. the orange ones with like a, a wolf kind of mat, uh, emblem. We would have to fight um, the Twin Guard unless we mm. ride them a lot. That's a good point. Well, we could easily. We've got a lot of resources. But that will be a discussion for the next episode. So, once again, thank you very much for joining us. We hope you enjoyed and will be joining us for the next. And if you want to see uh, Entro Elysium's perspective, then do hop over to his channel to watch this video. But until next time, do take care. And stay shiny.